Hello everybody, this is Mrs. Dudar, and this is a lesson tutorial for Module 3, Lesson 6 in Eureka. The objective is to write base 10 numbers in expanded form. And base 10 means that we are thinking about <clears throat> how 10 ones makes a 10, how 10 tens make a 100. So we're talking about base 10. 10 of these makes one of these, and 10 of these makes one of these. Putting those off to the side, let's look at this. If I was to write 100 plus 100 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 1 plus 1, could you find the units that are the same? And we'll underline them. There are two one hundreds, there are four tens, and there are two ones. And so what we'll do is add those together and write it underneath. One hundred plus one hundred is two hundred. And ten plus ten plus ten plus ten is forty. And 1 plus 1 is 2. 200 plus 40 plus 2 is 242. Let's write that in unit form. Remember, unit form is where we write the number and how many we have of that number and what place it's in. Place is where it lives. Value is how much it's worth. So how many hundreds did we have? One, two. How many tens did we have? Four. One, two, three, four. How many ones did we have? One, two. So we have unit form two hundreds, four tens, two ones. And what we're also going to be doing today is writing these in expanded, I'm sorry, um, sorry, uh, standard form. So standard form is like this, 242, but also we can place them in the hundreds, tens, and ones chart. How many hundreds did we have? We had two. How many tens did we have? Four. And how many ones did we have? Two. Well, what if you were able to write these in a different order? Would it make a difference to the total? So let's write it a different way. What if we wrote 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 1 plus 1 plus 100 plus 100. Would that make a difference to the total? Let's check. I'm going to underline the tens, underline the ones, and underline the hundreds. And I have one, two, three, four tens, 10, 20, 30, 40. I have two ones, which is two, and I have two hundreds, which is 200. Are the values the same as what we had up here? 200, two, and 40. It doesn't matter what order they're in, it still adds up to the same thing. So 40 plus 2 plus 200 is the same as 200 plus 40 plus 2. Let's look at this down here. I'm going to draw a line and I want you to think about this. What is 4 plus 3? plus two. Add that up in your head and it equals nine. 
Would it make a difference if I rearranged those digits? What if I put the two first, then the four, and then the three? What does it add up to now? And it still adds up to nine. When you are adding digits, it is okay to have them in any order. So be very careful when you're adding numbers and you notice that it might say five tens, three, oops, my pen is not working right, three hundreds and four ones. It would not be okay to say that's 534. That's not okay because it's five tens, three hundreds, four ones. So you can always draw hundreds, tens, and ones chart and plug in the numbers that way. Three hundreds, five tens, four ones. So a good strategy is to draw hundreds, tens, and ones chart and plug the numbers in in the correct place. All right, thank you. Have a math magical day.